Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be jumping in to Chaos Theory. Not the Splinter Cell game of the same subtitle, but Jurassic World Evolution 2 Chaos Theory, which is the second story campaign, I guess. It's a mode that allows you to revisit pivotal moments from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World films and add your own mark on a range of what-if scenarios. So basically, there's some Splinter Cell with the subtitle, there's some Marvel with the what-if, and then there's a whole bunch of dinosaurs, which is where Jurassic Park and Jurassic World come into play. So let's just... Oh my god. I, th I was going to say, let's just get started, and I thought it was going to just give me a cutscene, but no. Okay. So we're doing Jurassic Park. We have Jurassic Park San Diego. We have Isla Sorna Site B from Jurassic Park 3. We have Jurassic World and Return to Isla Nublar. Okay. Okay. I am kind of excited about this, and I'm suddenly wanting to go and watch all of the Jurassic Park movies again. Oh, boy. I might have to do that a little bit later on. Let's go to Jurassic Park. The Mosquito, frozen in time for millions of years, and trapped within it, well, that discovery would change our world. For a while, we thought that this was as close as we could get to dinosaurs. Turns out, we were wrong. Years of research into how to complete the DNA sequence for a dinosaur led us to this. Life unlike anything seen on this planet 65 million years. Jurassic Park. We know how well that went, but what if someone like you had been there to temper some of that rampant hubris? For Jurassic Park to succeed, you're going to need to make sure it's safe for all your guests. This is the adventure of their lifetime. We don't want it to be their last. I couldn't, I couldn't really hear what Ian Malcolm was, Jeff Goldblum was saying, but oh my god, that John Williams score gets me every time. Genuinely chill, genuine chills right now. I've got goosebumps. Oh, I love that. I love that theme. I love that. It's up there with like Star Wars and Indiana Jones. This is a paradise, but it is missing what it once had until we bring them back. This place will show people something spectacular. Dinosaurs, no longer confined to our imaginations. Dinosaurs in the flesh. And the moment people see them, that moment of astonishment, of magic, well, you're going to be a part of that spectacle. Jurassic Park will open on schedule, and the world will be as it once was, a land of the dinosaurs. I'm feeling emotional, dude. I'm actually really <laughs> excited about this. Ah, good, good. Glad to see you're getting settled in. I want to introduce you to Lily Halford, who is our Director of Operations here at the park. She'll get you up to speed. Thank you, Dr. Hammond. Uh, John, please. Oh, right then. As Dr. Hammond, oh, John, has already told you, our goal is to get Jurassic Park fully operational as quickly and safely as we can. We are literally doing things that were considered impossible, so it will be a challenge. Making the impossible possible? Yes, yes, I rather like that. Okay. We need to construct some things. We can do that. I know what I need to do, Ms. Halford. Thank you. I'm gonna talk over this a little bit because I can see what I need to do with the bottom right that both must be connected to pathways oh and power as well I could see that all is in good hands do carry on we'll keep you updated splendid absolutely splendid I like that I've got some choices for the visitor sensor I also like that this thing has like two you know, ways in and out. That's that's kind of cool. Let's do a visitor center right here, which is a pretty cool looking building. 
and let's do this oh wait it's one or the other okay well i think the visitor center being by the water is pretty cool i think the science center i mean it looks a little less touristy dare i say but i think we'll build it sort of wait, incorrectly aligned what what do you mean incorrectly aligned why can't i do this that's weird does it have to be facing this way i guess it could be facing sort of well you know what we'll do this that's totally fine we'll go for i guess about there and then they need to be connected to the paths oh my god i've just noticed that we have like a refreshment i love that we're actually building the park now you know we did the uh we did the other campaign and it was about building like i don't know facilities for whatever reason but this is this is building the park this is this is doing oh my god i'm so excited i'm so excited right now um let's do this and let's do this and let's see if i can't maybe i don't know i don't know if i can bring these guys around the way i would necessarily want to i think hmm let's see can i no can i get them to uh to curve around Ooh. oh i actually can i like that a lot okay that'll do and then I think what I want to do is bring this guy sort of out. Actually, let me keep it just in a straight line for a second. And what I'll do is do a straight section of path right about, I guess, there. And then this guy is going to come up to about there. And we'll do just a little curved section like this. And that looks okay. So it curves down. Uh, this guy is going to, I guess, go there. Oh, I can't do that, really? Oh, no. Oh, that's a problem. That would look so good, though. Oh, that's such a perfect little curve. Why can't I do that? Oh, man. I'm actually kind of gutted about that. Uh, does that mean I'm going to have to go at this angle? It does. Oh. Oh, that is such a shame. That is such a shame. But okay, we can, uh, we can make that work. Let's bring this guy out about as far as it'll go. And I guess what we do is we want to go in and we want to bulldoze maybe maybe back to about there should be fine uh so back into paths and i want to come up to about this spot curve sort of that way and then curve this way and that looks okay it's not perfect but it looks okay Jurassic park has a top geneticist top dr henry Wu. i should expect that you'll be meeting him soon that is if you haven't already i'm settled in and ready to get started so if we're to get the dinosaurs we want, we first need a hatchery. If you could construct one, then my staff and I can get to work. Okay. So we can press F4 to bring up the research tab. And we want to research the hatchery. Oh my god, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. There's so much to look into. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about this. Uh, let's see. So, let's put you on this. Let's put, I guess, you on there. It's going to take 17 seconds to do this. That seems pretty good. 50,000 to research a hatchery. Oh, man. And we have a little enclosure down here as well. So, this is going to be... This is going to be no problem at all. I don't remember what was in the enclosure. It's kind of like the... I don't think this is a re an exact recreation of what Jurassic Park actually was. The island, sure, but the actual park layout, I'm not so sure, but that's that's fine. So now we need to build an operational hatchery. Oh, man, I'm having flashbacks to... Not to Jurassic World Evolution, but I'm having flashbacks to... um, Was it like Operation Genesis or something like that? It was the old Jurassic Park game. I was I'm I'm having flashbacks because the hatcheries, right? It's I'm I'm having a moment and I'm I'm really okay with it because I'm really really excited about this. Um, I don't know if that's obvious. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's translating. I don't know if my excitement is <laughs> it's obvious, but uh, oh man, I am I am so keen for I'm so keen for this. Uh, let me bring a section of path out about there. And let's see if I can get this to kind of, I don't know, line up a little bit like that. That looks pretty good. I don't usually do curved paths with all this, but uh, we'll go for some curves. The first stage of dinosaur creation at a hatchery is synthesis. 
During synthesis, you will select species, genetic modifications, and view chances of certain traits. The synthesis process creates a variable number of eggs known as a batch. The number of eggs varies per species. Velociraptors. Yes, we're going to start with raptors. I know you may have concerns, but both John and I agree that they represent some of our most viable candidates. You'll need to synthesize their eggs using the available genome research I've provided. And of course, let me know the results the moment you have them. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's, um... Yeah, velociraptors. That's... that. <laughs> you know, some concerns is, is putting it mildly. Uh, oh my god, look at all these dinosaurs. Look at all these dinosaurs that we can get right here. Struthiomimus, Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. I said that right. I said that was first try. I said that right. The Dilophosaurus, Triceratops. We can get down to the Brachiosaurus. Diplodocus or Diplodocus. I don't know how to pronounce that one. I think it, I think it's... I don't care what one it is. I don't care. Oh, man. I'm just... I know it's just silhouettes, but... I am really excited. <laughs> Obviously, the T-Rex at some point as well would be great. Um, can I modify your genome? Can I... Oh, wait a minute. Is it... So, Velociraptor 1993. Is it called that because... We're going, it's going to look like the, what was Jurassic Park? What did it come out in 93? Was it 93? I don't know. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh God. I am genuinely so excited. <laughs> oh God. So we're using the DNA. So this is lifespan. The DNA of green sea turtles exhibits longer lasting brain cells. Okay. So we could make it live longer, I guess, if we wanted to. I don't hate that idea. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to save that. We're going to assign some scientists. And I guess we'll assign you. And that'll be 50% time. We'll go to here. We'll synthesize another one. We'll assign a scientist. And I guess we'll assign two of you. And that'll be, well... Yeah, we'll do two of you. That should be fine. There we go. So we have a couple of Velociraptors on the way, which, oh man, I'm so excited. I, I actually, I didn't grow up with Jurassic Park. I actually only properly watched Jurassic Park a few years ago, like maybe five, six, seven years ago. Uh, I sat and watched all of them. So, oh God. Wait, what do you mean? Lab report failed. Our first synthesis was unsuccessful. Which means that we clearly have room for improvement, but we don't stop. We get better. I've identified some areas in the synthesis process that need further research. See what you can learn at the science center and get back to me. Okay. So we want to go into research. Improved synthesis. Sure, we can do that. And we'll get a couple of you on there. Going to take 26 seconds to do that. That should be all right. What else have we got? Oh, we got all like the guest facilities. We got the small amenities. We got the restrooms. Ooh, incubation. Once a scientist has completed synthesis of a genome, you will be able to browse the batch and select eggs to incubate. All selected eggs are incubated, and the grown dinosaurs can then be released simultaneously. Alternatively, dinosaurs can be released to other locations via airlift. We're beginning with raptors? I'm not sure we're ready. Every precaution has been taken. I'm following the science, and these dinosaurs are our best chance at success. We've learned so much, and we'll continue to learn as we move forward. Yes, yes, of course. And I do understand your concern, Miss Halford. Every dinosaur carries a certain amount of risk. And it's our job to mitigate it as much as possible. Keep the lawyers out of my hair and the dinosaurs safely and happily within their enclosures, and you shall have my eternal gratitude. Dr. Hammond, does that mean we have your authorization to proceed? Yes. Most enthusiastically. Okay, so we've got our improved synthesis. So let's synthesize, incubate, and release 
two velociraptors. We've also got some research. We can research guest attraction. A configurable attraction for guests. The rewards will be guest attraction and basic guest attraction module. I don't know if we need any, any of this. I imagine that's potentially going to come later. I figured we probably want to put in a viewing gallery just because we can. Uh, so those both failed. Let's go ahead and try and synthesize another one. There's a 55% chance. I wonder if... If I go and modify the genome, and I, I, I maybe take that out of there, I'm not sure if that's making it better or worse. If I save an exit, still 55%. Trait chance, intolerant, expected survival rate, 67. If I modify and I give it that uh, longer lifespan and then save an exit, 67, 55%. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's assign some scientists. We'll go for you, and that'll be fine. And we'll see if we can get another one and see if we can actually do it this time. We'll go for, I guess, well, not you. We'll go for you and you, and that should be okay. And we'll see if the dinosaurs, we'll see if the velociraptors actually manage to survive, and, you know, we'll actually get some dinosaurs in here, which would be kind of exciting. Uh, we do probably want some feeders, such as a, a good old carnivore feeder. So we'll sort of slap that right uh, right about there. And uh, hold on a minute. Did we just successfully? Oh, we did. We did. Okay. Let's select some eggs. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So the cohabitation limit is lower. And there's a greater chance to attack ranger teams. You are more threats. Oh, God. Okay. I don't like either of these traits, I'm going to be honest. What about you? What have we got? More threat, more dominance. Cohabitation's a problem. You're fit. Okay, we'll go for that one. And that should be fine. So... I don't really... I don't really want to go for a di I mean, we'll go for the two fit dinosaurs, I guess. And we can assign a couple of scientists and see what's going on. So we're going to want to get you. And it's going to be ne nearly a million dollars to uh, to keep that going. But hopefully this means that we're going to have two velociraptors getting chucked out into this enclosure. And hopefully that's going to be a good thing. Although they're probably going to want some water as well. So let's just give them a little bit of water over there. And uh, we'll just make this brush a little bit smaller. Just so the water looks a little bit more interesting, I guess. We'll do a... Uh, a little bit of that right there. And we have dinosaurs ready to release. Um, release the dinosaurs. Even with Dr. Wu's assurances, we'll want the proper response teams in place. I'm not saying anything will go wrong. I'm just erring on the side of caution. We can start with a ranger post. Build one inside the Velociraptor enclosure. Then create a response facility. From there, assign a ranger patrol to the post. I am so happy seeing those Velociraptors. <laughs> That's so cool. I also like that, um, I like that everything's styled a little bit differently for, uh, Jurassic Park versus the stuff that we had when, uh, we were doing stuff for Jurassic World, I guess. Uh, it's kind of cool that everything has sort of its own style for, uh, for this park. I, I really like that. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll put the ranger post here since it's kind of a cool spot for it. And we'll get that connected to uh, to the path right there. Then we can assign the ranger team to patrol the Velociraptor enclosure. Velociraptors, by the way, are missing a few things. Interesting. Let's have a look at their environment. I think they're missing things because they haven't quite set up their territory yet. This guy, for example, is probably a bit happier. And this guy's starting to get his forest, so... I don't know. I figure they'll be okay. 
it's just going to take a minute for them to figure out their territory. So I guess we'll leave it be for now. I, I would imagine this Velociraptor is uh, also no. Pre oh, wait, no prey. Prey. Hold on a minute. We're going to want a live feeder. So we'll go ahead and put that sort of, I guess, I guess here is probably a good spot. And that will keep them happy in terms of prey. And in terms of water, they're starting to get there. They're starting to figure out the forest. So I think they'll be happy enough. They just need to explore a little bit. Now, oh my god, we've got the old Jurassic Park Jeeps as well. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about all of this. Oh my god, it's so good. Let's see. Hold on, can I customize them? Not currently. That's fine. We've got the helicopter as well. Oh, God. It's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, let me add a task to you and send you down here to uh, patrol that ranger post. There we go. Good luck. We need the animals comfortable in their enclosures. The less they feel stress over their captivity, the more they'll begin to act within their expected behaviors. This is better for them and obviously better for us. Check on the raptor's welfare, and remember, they're still getting habituated to their new enclosure. Way ahead of you, buddy. The raptors are already thrilled. There isn't much entertainment and educational value in the park if our visitors cannot see our dinosaurs. I mean, what's the point, really, if not to see these majestic animals up close? Well, we can construct viewing galleries, which should provide the guests with what you're after, John. They won't believe their eyes. <laughs> which is exactly what we want. Precisely my thoughts as well, Lily. And why they'll want to keep coming back, time and time again, to Jurassic Park. Our dinosaurs offer priceless memories for a reasonable fee. <laughs> ah, yes. Now you're getting it. You know, I don't know who they got to do John Hammond's voice, but I really like it. We need to get a paleo medical facility in place to ensure any sick or injured dinosaurs can be taken care of. That's a good idea. We need to keep our dinosaurs healthy. I like that he's sort of whispering. <laughs> That's a good idea. We need to keep our dinosaurs healthy. It's really, it's really soothing. It makes me want to just talk softer for the rest of the video because i feel like my voice is a little well not more enthusiastic but i <laughs> i feel like i'm a lot more excited about what's going on than john hammond is right now so i could talk like this for the rest of the video but it would probably be really annoying so i'm not gonna do that anyway <laughs> anyway uh, the Expedition Center handles teams led by assigned scientists to remote destinations. Send your dig team to collect new fossils from dig sites across the world. Extract dinosaur genome data from fossils at the Science Center. <laughs> more genetic samples than I'm having so much fun. I'm having too much fun. We can send out expeditions of our own to gather fossils. But what we really need is for you to get an expedition center under construction. Then we can extract DNA from these new fossils gathered in the field and rebuild an even more diverse set of dinosaur genome sequences. This should be your priority. What do you mean this should be my priority? Hello? All right, buddy, settle down. This should be your priority. Yeah. Priority this. Priority this. Um, let's just build this thing here, I guess. We'll build it like back from the, the the path a little bit. Just to be sort of different, I suppose. So we'll build it there, and we'll just do this right here. And that'll be fine. We can then send out, you know, I guess expeditions. We also need to increase the genome of Triceratops. How mm. Do I want to get more Velociraptors? How are these How are these two doing? Oh, is he sleeping? <gasps> oh my god. He's a sleepy boy. What's this one doing? Oh my... 
Well, I'm just swimming. I'm just over here swimming. He looks he looks very cheeky, doesn't he? I'm just over here swimming. That's all I'm doing over here. I'm just over here just swimming. That's all I <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Oh god, I love it. I really do. I'm having so many flashbacks to um being a kid and playing like Operation Genesis or whatever it was called. I'm having so much fun with this. I really, really am. I have no idea how to increase the genome of Triceratops. Um, and I was actually going to the, <laughs> I was going to the raptors for a reason. I wanted to see if they'd be happy with more uh, dinosaurs. So cohabitation is not an issue. Population is fine right now. So we could probably go to the other ones, select some eggs. Um, that's fine. And... That's fine. We're not going to throw anything else in with the Velociraptors anyway. So I'm not really too worried. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. There we go. And uh, we'll get those Raptors in just a second. <laughs>